you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to participate in this event. Uh, actually, I am not an expert on uh, countering or preventing extremism. Uh, I am more interested in um, electoral behavior and political behavior. And uh, I'm researching far right parties in Greece and in Europe. So um, I would like to ask for your understanding. Uh, but now I'm, I'm, I'm starting to present my, my, my topic. Um, I will focus on the Greek case, uh, but uh, let me start with some remarks on uh, about the trans transnational dimension of uh, uh, violent far-right extremism, which is, according to Antonio Guterres, a grave and growing danger. Uh, this is actually a global uh, threat, uh, according to recent trends alert of the uh, United States, far-right attacks uh, triplet around the world uh, between uh, uh, 2015 and 2020. Uh, the resurrection, the insurrection and the riots of the, at the U.S. Capitol reflects a global challenge uh, far-right poses uh, to liberal democracy. And um, uh, as it is already said, far-right extremism constitutes a diffuse spectrum of individuals, groups, organizations, parties, some of which have managed to penetrate uh, the central political arena through contagion diffusion mechanism. That, uh, that means that mainstream actors, some mainstream actors are prone to co-opt aspects or patterns of the rhetoric, uh, uh, for instance, xenophobic uh, rhetoric of the extremist far right and through mainstreaming effects, uh, extremist uh, far-right uh, anti-preferences uh, uh, spread into everyday discourses, as we already know. Um, now I'm coming to the national, to the Greek dimension of this topic. Uh, the far-right spectrum actually was uh, very marginal in Greece um, after the fall of the dictatorship in the 70s, and it remained marginal in the 70s and the 80s. At that time, left-wing terrorist organizations dominated at the extremist scene for almost uh, three decades. As you already know, the 17th November was a, a terrorist, uh, a left-wing terrorist organization, uh, the ELA, the Revolutionary People's Struggle. All uh, these uh, organization, terrorist organizations, belong to the uh, uh, left-wing spectrum concerning their credo, their ideology. Violent extremism associated with uh, a new wave of mass protest underwent a rapid extent expansion at the turn of the millennium. Uh, at that time, uh, new left-wing organizations um, with a um, nihilist um, uh, background uh, but uh, also neo-Nazi extremist uh, organizations, militias uh, like Co Golden Dawn or Cryptia constitute uh, a new mosaic of uh, violent extremism in Greece since uh, the outbreak of the economic crisis. Uh, I would like to say some um, more words about uh, uh, Golden Dawn, about this case, uh, which is um, actually the most extremist uh, variant of Greece's uh, far right, one of the most violent uh, extremist parties uh, in the EU, a party uh, that uh, promoted um, 
a racial uh, nation state uh, um, 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 ideology uh, supported um, white supremacism. Uh, it was organized uh, um, in the form, in the style of a militia uh, party uh, with a paramilitary inner structure, uh, a party that was strongly hierarchical. Uh, the party leader who was called uh, Führer, they have, uh, they have used the German word for the leader and uh, the, the party leader, the Führer, uh, has uh, extensive power within the party and uh, um, training uh, programs were implemented for um, party members uh, in order to participate in street uh, fights, mainly at the local level, against any notion of otherness, against migrants, against members of the Roma, of the Jewish, the LGBTQ community, etc. cetera. Uh, Golden Dawn um, existed as an extremist organization, as well as, as a political party um, from uh, the beginning uh, of the 90s. Um, for almost one and a half decade, uh, Golden Dawn as a political party was irrelevant and uh, almost without any visibility, but the party experienced uh, a meteoric rise um, after the outbreak or in the beginning of the, of, the, of the outbreak of the financial crisis in Greece. And um, uh, the party achieved to become the third biggest party in the Greek parliament uh, in the January, as well as in the September 2014 uh, uh, um, elections. Um, but then started a downward trend and at the moment, the party is not represented in the Greek parliament since it failed to, uh, to achieve the, the 3% uh, threshold, which is necessary in order to enter the Greek parliament. Um, Golden Dawn uh, participated in elections as well as in violent actions. The electoral rise of Golden Dawn went hand in hand with each involvement in violent action. In this slide, you can see data from a project um, uh, we, we um, we have implemented uh, with other colleagues about xenophobia in Greece. And here you can see uh, attacks, violent attacks attributed to Golden Dawn um, uh, when the target was, uh, were only immigrants. There are many other attacks against other target groups. In this slide, you can see only attacks against uh, immigrants. Um, entering parliament didn't have an effect on uh, minimizing parties' violent potential. Uh, however, after, as you can see here, after the killing, the murder, of the musician Pablo Spisas and the prosecution of uh, Golden Dawn officials, a downward trend concerning violent attacks attributed to Golden Dawn can be uh, clearly observed. Um, what lies behind this downward trend in electoral performance, uh, performance as well as in violent activities. Uh, 
the murder of Fisas became the catalyst for institutional interventions. Um, after the murder of uh, Pablo Fisas, um, a police investigation into Golden Dawn activities has started. Um, the trial against Golden Dawn, against actually uh, party officials and party members of Golden Dawn, this was also very crucial. Uh, very crucial uh, were also the revelations during the trials. Golden Dawn presented itself as a patriotic front. Uh, through the revelations, uh, the Greek citizens could realize that it was not a patriotic front, but a violent neo-Nazi group a criminal organization actually operating under the mantle of a political party. Uh, for this downtrend, very crucial, very substantial, uh, was the suspension of the state funding of Golden Dawn after a legislative provision posed by a very large majority in the Hellenic parliament. And after that, Golden Dawn lacks of resources and therefore uh, their violent actions and the local and the national level has dumped and uh, um, substantially. Uh, and the last point uh, uh, about what lies behind civil society engagement lies behind um, civil society groups, uh, civil society mobilization, uh, anti-fascist mobilization was very crucial at that time. Um, low vis visibility in the public and the mainstream media at the beginning, um, I mean, um, after Golden Dawn has entered the Greek parliament in 2012, uh, party officials and the party uh, experienced an extensive visibility in the mass media. This was not the case when uh, the trial has uh, started. Um, the decrease of party polarization uh, um, during the financial crisis, um, we have also experienced a, a political crisis. Uh, the climate, the political climate was very toxic, uh, toxic. Uh, party polarization was very high. Um, now the climate is different and we have experienced a decrease in party pol polarization, also a decrease in uh, of blame attribution uh, during the last uh, national elections of 2019. Greek voters are, were less willing to be punitive, to be against the political uh, establishment or the political parties, and they were much less receptive to, 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 um, to Golden Dawn's uh, uh, polemic, to these uh, anti-stances and these anti-preferences. Um, despite the judicial uh, conviction, however, Golden Dawn still exists. There is no way to be banned. Parties are protected, are constitutionally protected in Greece. And Golden Dawn uh, still exists. Uh, and despite prison sentences to Golden Dawn officials, they are not deprived of their political right. Actually, they have the right to participate in election. Um, Golden Dawn, of course, was rejected from the voters. It is not, as I said, uh, uh, presented in the Greek parliament. And it is defeated in the polls. But I would say, because as other speakers said, extremism is here 
and xenophobia, conspirational thinking, violence still exists. Uh, let us keep our eyes open on nationally and globally groaning extremism. Thank you very much for your attention and I'm looking forward for the discussion.